When talking about Red Rock, you have to be specific. Today, I'm not in Nevada. I'm not in Arizona. I'm here in California at Red Rock Canyon State Park. Let's go explore together. The Visitor Center is a great place to start your journey here in Red Rock. There are restrooms and you can get informative maps about the area. Red Rock State Park was established in 1968 and it was the first California State Park located in Kern County. If you only have time for one hike, I'd recommend the Hagen Canyon Nature Trail. It's a wonderfully marked path and there are some of the most exquisite formations in all of Red Rock, right here. Since the 1930s, Hollywood has been filming here in Red Rock. The Mummy was filmed here, Jurassic Park, Westworld, and many more films and television shows. The red that you see in these huge sandstone cliffs is actually iron oxide, otherwise known as rust staining. All of what you see here used to be underwater. This entire area lay at the bottom of a massive lake 10 million years ago. Red Rock is rich in history. For thousands of years, Native Americans used this area as a trading route. And in the 1800s, the famous 20 mule wagon freight teams used these bright red colors to guide their path. Many amazing artifacts have been found in this area, including fossils of saber-toothed cats and alligator lizards. It is a dream to explore all these formations with their cracks and crevices, but just be careful because there is a lot of slippery terrain here. You can get lost here exploring in Red Rock in the best possible way. Maybe it's because I grew up in the prairies of the Midwest, but this place is absolutely otherworldly. One of the many highlights here on Hagen Trail has to be Window Rock. If you want to see Joshua trees, you're in luck. This is a wonderful spot to view them right off the trail. One of the great things about Hagen Trail is it's right off the 14 freeway, so you don't have to worry about having four-wheel drive to get to the spectacular views. The weather fluctuates here incredibly quickly, so it's always important to bring proper clothing, sun protection, and twice as much water as you think you might need.
Red Cliffs Nature Trail here boasts cliffs that shoot out of the ground over 300 feet. The park is located where the south edge of the Sierra Nevada meets the El Paso mountain range, and it is epic. I always love to share places with you that I personally want to return to again and again. And I feel like this state park is one of the most underrated in all of California. When we think of big adventures here, we think of Yosemite and Death Valley and Big Sur, but Red Rock is spectacular. You could spend an entire day exploring here and still not have seen enough. And it's right off of the freeway, so if you only have a little time, you'll still see some spectacular formations and enjoy exploring. These epic formations jut out of the ground like massive cathedrals. If you like taking the path less traveled, you can even climb up into these spectacular caverns. Though it takes a little effort to get here, I am never disappointed. As much as I want to share the majesty of this place with you, it really has to be experienced in person for you to take in the grandeur. Thanks for joining me today here in Red Rock. And for more information, check out my blog at flyingdonmarie.com. And until next time, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye. Million years ago. Watch out for that. You. Freight wagon! <laughs> Can I try that one more time? I'm not tired. Hi. Alright, cool. Alligator. Alligator lizard. Alligator. Yay! <laughs>